Hello, good morning, dear friends. We are going to make some yogurt. <coughs> Sorry. Turn on the fire and put in some milk. Any kind of milk. You can use whole milk. You can use uh, um, the with a percentage, two percent, one percent, non-fat milk, and uh, whichever milk that you feel the most comfortable with, and uh, <coughs> that goes with your system. And uh, some people like it uh, uh, more healthy, in the so-called healthy, because I always think the the. Two percent and uh, are not so healthy. The 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 the, the, the skimmed milk is not as healthy as uh, the original milk. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm not so good at talking today. And put some vanilla uh, extract. This time we will make it simple and easy. We we'll put some pure vanilla extract. Bring it to a boil. About one little teaspoon or more or less. There is not very much we can do and we need to do. You just boil it. And I would like to put some sugar also to make it. Uh, I am not making natural uh, yogurt. I am making vanilla yogurt. Natural yogurt is good for cooking and uh, no flavor, but uh, it's just not uh, not enough flavor, and uh, it's uh, it's not pleasant to to eat. At least for me, it's not pleasant to eat. It's uh, too sour. When the milk becomes fermented, it becomes a very very sour. Uh, yogurt, so it's not pleasant. I will put some sugar in it to make it pleasant. I put one spoon of sugar. One spoon of sugar, and that's it. That's a big, huge spoon, I have to admit. And bring it to a boil. And um, the other day, I saw a video. There was one guy making raw milk yogurt. So <clears throat> I was very interested, and he was talking about about uh, talking a lot about the goodness of raw milk, and uh, it's quite against my my understanding and philosophy of how I was uh, uh, raised up, how I was raised up. So. Um, <clears throat> But uh, the way he's so passionate about it is quite uh, fascinating. So I checked about uh, the raw milk. And just at this time, in our local news, Mountain View News, there was one article about uh, one lady. She started uh, the raw milk business. Uh, the, reason, the reason is that uh, her daughter could not digest any milk and organic anything from the market whenever she drinks it she will vomit the, the little girl and then no whenever the mother drinks it the daughter will omit or vomit also 
So she was looking around, she searched everywhere, and finally she found uh, the raw milk. And uh, the daughter can drink the raw milk, and when she drink the raw milk, the daughter will not have uh, any any reaction or any problem. So she started. But finding raw milk is a very difficult thing. Uh, you have to be in the market exactly at the, at the day of the delivery, otherwise it will be gone. It is gone very fast. This is also to my surprise. This is my commentary, okay? It's also to my surprise that so many people drink raw milk and it goes very fast. There must be some more people know about raw milk. And uh, I must be one of the minority who did not understand anything about raw milk. Anyway, <clears throat> so it's quite hard to find it. So he started to to look for it, and uh, she he start she started to look for it, and she start to talk with the delivery delivery guy of one particular farm. See that or see Claren Farm or something, <coughs> Claremont Farm or something. She started to talk with the delivery guy and uh, then she secured every day or something can have a fresh supply of, uh, of raw milk. And um, later on, this uh, delivery guy moved to another place so she picked up this. Um, this business module, or she picked up this um, <coughs> uh, this legacy, this tradition, and started her own business. That is a delivery, deliver not delivery, distributing raw milk, and uh, there is quite a business around here now, and she has um, <coughs> an online business, and uh, people a lot of like minds share the, the, the raw milk and they deliver to uh, several people's house and then people goes to their house to search for their shipment and they are not only doing raw milk business but it expands to not only raw milk but also uh, fresh food something rare to find and a lot of things that uh, that I do not even know anyway so <clears throat> her theory or the theory of raw milk is that through bacterization, through uh, going through the, the bacterized, pa pasteurized, pasteurized, sorry, not bacterized, <laughs> going through the pasteurization, uh, the heat, only 80 degrees in Celsius, even only 80 degrees, it kills a lot of... Um, uh, important uh, enzyme or something it kills something that helps the human digestion so this is why they need raw milk <coughs> and um, but uh, I was growing up I grown up with drinking milk uh, boiled and it's uh, totally unimaginable to drink milk not a hundred percent boiled as if you are going to kill it yeah and um, <clears throat> so i was just interested in this topic and i also searched i was thinking if this is so good why not i choose i i find it so i went to a whole food and there was a little a little note there uh, if you look for raw milk, you can contact this, this, this number. So it's kind of a big thing that uh, people are drinking raw milk and a lot of people interested and there is a demand for it. So, <clears throat> but I, it is expensive and, um, and uh, what else? I do not, uh, I'm not so comfortable and I'm not really convinced and uh, so I do. I have not yet get into this raw milk thing. So if you have any knowledge, if you have any experience with uh, raw milk, 
Would you like to share with me and teach me and um, educate me a little bit about this uh, about this raw milk things, raw R A W uncooked raw, totally raw, as if uh, coming out of right out of the the cow the the cow the the the, the breast of the cow. It's quite uh, unimaginable <laughs> for me. And um, <clears throat> it's uh, relatively expensive, but uh, it's affordable to the point that uh, that it's uh, still um, within our our range. If you if you want to drink it, you make an effort, right? If you like something, you make an effort. It's not like uh, you are going to die. You are going to go totally bankrupt out of it, out of. Uh, uh, through drinking raw milk. You will not do it. It's uh, twice the price around it. And uh, and some people say it's uh, it tastes better because it's not um, um, harmonized, ha homog homogenized. It's not uh, skimmed. It's the pure raw milk. It's a pure milk with its own percentage of, uh, of fatness, of flavor. And um, yeah, so so <clears throat> here is our not raw milk. Here is our cooked milk yogurt. Okay, this is not raw milk. We are talking so much about raw milk, and finally we are not doing anything about raw milk. We are going to do the cooked milk, and uh, we boil the milk until that you are comfortable and uh, the milk we bought uh, organic or not organic is from the market they are all pasteurized in some states it's not even it's not even legal to sell raw milk it's illegal to sell raw milk and uh, some people say that uh, we are blessed, we are in California, we can drink raw milk because law did not, does not forbid it. Um, <clears throat> so bring it to your desired or comfortable degree, at least it cannot be cold. It should not be colder than your finger temperature. You can f use your finger to test it, at least it should be lukewarm. And the standard of lukewarm is different. I am from China. I, I I drink hot tea. I drink everything hot. So my standard of lukewarm is definitely different from the standard of lukewarm from France, which I know in my, because of my uh, I I live with French people. So anyway, um, make it warm now. And we are taking the time to cool it down. When you have a, a, a bowl of uh, cool water, cold water, it speed up the cooling, the cooling uh, process. It takes five minutes or something, two or five minutes, and then it will be cold. And then you will put your starting yogurt and uh, let's Wait until it is a little bit cooler. It's still not yet cool enough. And if the milk is too hot, it will totally boil the um, the starting yogurt, and uh, it uh, it will 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 damage it. And then there will be no bacteria to develop because all the bacteria is killed through the. Uh, because it's too hot, so make sure it is not too hot. <clears throat> now I am going to wash my hand. I have washed my hand. My hand. And find my little yogurt in there. I should have a lot of yogurt milk, but I cannot find them. Oh, Margarita! One, two, what a pity, I only have two. Must have much more. 
It's uh, cool enough. We take it out. Yeah. It's a little bit higher than the finger temperature, but I know it will not be a problem. I'm going to pour some water. The starter yogurt in. Let's take a look. This is a starter yogurt and make a difference. So I make a point by putting um, uh, a rubber band so that I can differentiate. This one is the starting yogurt. Look at it, it's so good. A whole rich cream top on top of it. It's the most delicious part, is the cream top. top.
Tomorrow, in one day, it will be good. Bye bye. Florence. It will be like good, like this one. In one day, it will be just like this. Shall we enjoy it a little bit? Use a pretty spoon. There is a layer of cream top. Very delicious. <laughs> 